from the director of The Boy 1 and 2 comes Orphan First Kill. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Time to find out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nightmare Collective. I'm Chris. Today we're going to be reviewing Orphan First Kill. So I've been stewing on this review kind of all day. I've been kind of going back and forth about kind of my thoughts on this movie because I'm really unsure and it's taken me a lot longer than it normally does. Normally with these movies I kind of can come out in a snap and kind of give you my thoughts on them right away. But I saw this at like 7.30 this morning and I mean we're into like 7 o'clock at night. So I just... I, been torn man i really like the 2009 orphan film i really do like it i like esther in it i like via famiga's character in that i like the tension and the atmosphere in that movie she's brutal calculating methodical and she's dude she's a, a crazy badass but i had really low expectations going into orphan first kill i mean really low i hate the boy and i didn't even try to see the boy too because i was just like man all I heard was bad things about that movie. I had a friend who was like, dude, don't even bother. So I didn't even bother. So going into this, I'm just like, what can they do to break out of the prequel, terrible prequel mold that most prequels go into? I'm not a huge fan of prequels, as I've said multiple times on this channel, because they really just tend to give us stuff. They're like, hey, this happens, and we're going to explain where that came from. Or here's this small thing that you saw that we picked up on that we know you remember, and we're going to explain that. I'm typically not a huge fan of that. And I will say overall where they set this prequel, I'm not a huge fan of because it's basically the story that happens at the beginning of Orphan. They're just like, hey, she infiltrates this American family, and she couldn't seduce the dad, and then she murders everybody. So going in, I'm just like, okay. What are we going to get out of this movie? And that's what we got. It's not as straightforward as that, which I do appreciate. It does subvert some expectations closer to the third act. But overall, I mean, I'm kind of lukewarm on it. I've seen some people that they're really praising this movie. And yes, it's better than I thought it would be, but it is by no means a good movie. I would say like 50, 60% of the way through the movie, it, like I said, it does subvert your expectations. It does do something a little different, which I do like. But overall, I was just bored. The like, first like 40 minutes of this movie, I was just like checking my phone, doing other things. I went to get more coffee. I just like, I just could not get into it because I was just like, yes, I like Esther, but nothing they're doing here is interesting. It's very generic. It's very plotting. And I'm just kind of like, can we get to something interesting? And they finally do. But then, like I said, towards the end, they kind of ruin that. And like, that's what I always say, though, like how the movie leaves you at the end is kind of the your overall feelings on the movie. As soon as you leave the theater, your reaction to the very ending is very guttural, and that's kind of how you leave, and so that's how you remember it. So for me, I'm very similar. I, Like I said, this is why I've had a problem all day kind of combining my thoughts and like getting this out because I'm just like torn between, like I really like what they do going into the third act, but then they ruin it at the end of the movie. So I'll just say overall, I think if you like Orphan, I think you'll like this movie for the most part because Esther is the same. She slips right back into that role. I do think some of the camera stuff is weird. They're, they're making people taller and she's shorter. And so I think it works really well in the first movie. I don't know that they pull it off as successfully in this prequel, which I mean, hey, that's a tall order to do. So I don't fault them for trying all of these things. But man, it's been 13 years. This actress is like 25, not 12. So overall, though, I think she did a great job. I think Julia Stiles is awesome. This is kind of counter to what she normally plays, especially from like all the 90s movies that she had. But I don't know, man. I'm just like I said, I'm kind of torn. I almost need to watch this again to kind of see what my feelings are the second time. Because like I said, there's just small things that I don't like throughout the movie that kind of like I'm like, Oh, this is boring. Then it gets interesting, but then it kind of takes you out. And then it's just, ugh, I don't know. For me, it's just kind of meh. If I'd have to give it a rating, it's meh. But again, it's on Paramount+. Plus. So if you want to check it out, I think you should. Kind of let me know your thoughts down below. What did you think about the movie? I guess I'm going to try and watch it a second time. Maybe my thoughts will be different going forward. And they are I'll definitely update everybody. But that's kind of my gut reaction seven hours later. I still kind of feel this like... 
uh, it's fine. I like kind of what they did, but overall, I just don't think it works for me. I wish it did because Esther works so well for me in both movies, but it's just kind of everything around that doesn't work for me. So that's pretty much all I have. I really don't want to get to any spoilers. I think you should definitely check out Orphan. It's on Prime Video right now if you have that, and this is on Paramount+. Plus. So definitely go check those out. Let me know what you think down below. So that's pretty much all my thoughts on the movie. If you like what I do, consider joining the collective. Check out some other reviews that I've got, and don't forget, some doors should never be opened.